Hello, you all. You already know what we about to get into. We finna get into these messages and see what our Elohim would like us to know at this time. We're picked up here. We have separation equals elevation, isolation. So let's see what our Elohim would like us to know at this time. Something was guided by the light with the star energy. And then we got the star with the four of wands. Somebody was guided by the light here. You could have been at home um, to yourself. Separation equals elevation, isolation. Yeah, somebody got some truth, peace, clarity, and healing. It's not always bad being isolated or separating for a little while for you to get what you need. So let's see. Somebody could have separated from lovers, partners. Separation equals elevation, isolation. Yep, partnerships. These could be different partnerships. People did somebody loved, you know. You know, different types of relations here. Judgment was called. Judgment was called on these partnerships. Looked like rescue, too. But judgment was called on these partnerships because, too, I'm seeing, you know, being at one with the divine here with this judgment. Uh, possibly partnerships was blocking somebody from their higher calling, their purpose, uh, healing, uh, being at one with the divine too as well. Judgment was called on these partnerships here. Yeah, they had the end, the death, and change, will of fortune. This was destined to occur. This change, so whatever caused se separation, this was destined to occur. Somebody could have got on their path. Judgment is out here twice. I seen judgment again. Maybe somebody missed that first call and it was like, what? Let me, let me, let me call again. <laughs> Maybe somebody missed that first judgment call. Like, wait a minute now. Maybe you weren't loud enough. I guess that's it. Maybe you weren't loud enough. Yeah, somebody has something to fulfill here. Nine of Cups at the bottom? Yeah, give. Somebody had to get in the balance and take action. So somebody has been, in, you know, isolated, they've been single, but they've been having something to fulfill. So what I'm getting from the other judgment card too, y'all, is that no, what, what happened was judgment was called because one, you know, the rescue, the healing from these relations, because they probably was no good. And it was cha and, it, and change needed to come, right? And getting that partnership from the divine. And the other judgment call was you this, you had something to fulfill. Your destiny. Your destined path. So we're going to pull some Oracle. Listen, it was like, uh-uh, wait a minute now. So double judgment reign. Your, your purpose, you know, what, what you was dealing with, what you was partnered up with. And your in your relations with the divine. So it was like, hey, <laughs> hey, hold up.
you have Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, and Pisces. Somewhere in your chart. You had to have a metamorphosis, you know, for this change to be to be able to fulfill what you need to fulfill. <clears throat> Confirmation. So you couldn't do that around everybody and a mama. Separation, elevation, isolation. So this is the why. Yeah, building your world. You were you was expanding, creating, networking with the divine. With the Most High, Yahweh, Elohim, Yahshua, sacred purpose. Yeah, you got you had a sacred purpose. They like what? <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> what you doing? So, yeah, this is part of your legacy. This is eternal. You had a sacred purpose. And if magic and stuff was being done on you, like people could have been doing, you know, different types of earth magic and magic and stuff on you and the divine let that happen and the most high let that go through to remove stuff from you. See, it wasn't happening to you. It was happening for you. This helped you get on your path. So even though these people that was doing it, it was like, oh, I'm doing this. Like, you know, they had their little evil intent, whatever. They ain't like your ass. <laughs> and they was doing that magic on you. But the most high let it go through because you needed it. And I ain't gonna lie, you needed it because you, you have something to fulfill. So this magic and stuff that they was doing to you, it was removing these things and the divine let it strip you to illuminate your life force. Your personal power within. Because you have brilliant beliefs. So this had to be done for you. Yep. Bright heart light. It had to open the connection. Wings of light so that you can become something new. This had to happen so that you could become something new. So people could have been thinking they was kicking your ass. <laughs> but no, the divine was letting this happen because that connection needs to be opened up. You had to separate and get into that isolation so that you can elevate, so that you can hear the divine and hear that instruction so that you can change. You're a light being. Yeah, now you have a joyous view of the future, grateful optimism in which you have become this newness. Yeah, healing the earth. You have the power to give and receive healing. Here's your clarity on what you've been through and what you had to go through, but you had to release some things here. Yeah, you got that angelic assistance. Divine guidance, loving and support. That's where your communication was coming from. You have the gift of telepathy. And you know hidden knowledge, the secrets. You had to go back to the beginning, the garden. Precognition. You could be, you could have some sort of psychic abilities, future vision, the gift of telepathy. Yeah, listen, you you were you commute you ooh Y'all see me stutter <laughs> Cause ooh you you can communicate with the divine you communicate with the life force That's who you is that's why you that's why all of this had to happen because you can communicate with the life force communication sacred breath and sound So you had to 
uh, you know, set these boundaries and honor these boundaries. And this is why you're so protected too as well. You have the gift of clairvoyance. You had to trust this is deep within you. Past life influences. See, you had to know who you was. It, it was hidden who you was. So you had to go back to the beginning and get it. But you can't go back to the beginning and get it surrounded by a bunch of gunk. That's person, place, and or thing. So these boundaries that you honored and that you and you trusted in your gifts here, that that did you some good. Cause now you can communicate with the life force itself with the with the most high. Sacred breath and sound. Sacred purpose. So let's see. What else did you find? Um also through connection here. So these are this is why these boundaries had to be honored and set. You are an illuminator. You radiate energy that lights up any room with great power to heal those around you and to crack their hearts wide open. This gift can make people run from your light. You can illuminate things through storytelling. You have the ability to express life through stories and enhance your magic with symbols. Spirit may also communicate with you through synchronicities. And I'm telling you with all that stuff around you, how you going to pay attention? How you going to see it? You'll miss it. We have sophisticated. You have a higher understanding of sex and sexuality is authentic and empowering, often having a shocking effect on people and provoking insecurity in others. So you have a, a, a spiritual understanding of sex and sexuality. You're sophisticated with it. People may not think so, but you are. That's a part of your power. Yeah, you are royalty. You have royalty qualities that command power that causes extreme reactions in people. You're either loved or hated, challenging people to become better. So you can get a lot of flack and you can get a lot of love. Balance. You are a rebellion. Your rebellious mind is a force that is able to remove smoke screens which cloud the mind. Someone who follows their own path and not which that is popular. So you're, look, you're looked at as somebody that rebels, but you see through the smoke and mirrors. You can have psychic dreams and becoming more aware of your dreams can allow you to make better choices to avoid tragedy and embrace positive changes that may be about to happen. So you have psychic dreams. Catalyst, you're someone who evokes progress and change in people, making them aware that something could be better, leaving them forever change. And then we have boss, you have your shit together, being precisely who you are and in hot pursuit of your goals that they captivate and inspire others. So you're the boss, boss angel. So you're an angel. You're an angel on earth sent here to learn certain things about the human condition and to guide humans on earth. A spirit guide in training to teach and heal others. We also have undecided here. So in this lifetime, you were given an opportunity to fully explore your options and to prepare you for the next. As a result, you may experience many new different adventures. Sultry, your serene presence makes you otherworldly with the ability to feel your physical with the ability to feel your physical sensations as they are very heightened, trapping those around you in your rapture. You're an indigo child. It is your mission to access higher wisdom and knowledge and intelligence 
so that you can bring it back down to planet Earth. You're young at heart. Your youthful energy, the youthful energy in your eyes reveal a fun hidden treasure allowing others to also explore their inner child. Self-reliance, you're an independent free spirit who is here to learn and teach love and freedom, enabling others to experience and master self-love and independence. So you rely on yourself with love and your own freedom. Anything else? Becoming. You can easily tap into other people's fantasies. You're very multifaceted and you're well-rounded. It makes you hard to read. You're also fearless. You're bold about your joys in life, making you more vivid and alive to those around you, teaching them to take more risk. We have the dead. You could communicate with the dead. It can come in the form of inner sensing, seeing, or hearing them. You are a wild card. You're unpredictable, and your qualities are uncertain. You can't be held down. Nobody knows what to expect from you, not even you. You're a jack of all trades. You have the gift of clear audience. And healing hands. You have the gift of receiving intuitive messages from spirit. It may sound as if it's right next to you inside your head or echoing from another dimension. You have healing hands too as well. You're able to use universal energy with your hands to help people alleviate spiritual, physical, or mental suffering in clearing energetic blockages. You are a mirror. You disrupt things in order to enable people to see themselves differently and to begin to heal the ultimate mirror. Magnetism. You have a natural ability to make others come after you, possessing a powerful aura that makes it difficult to stay away. You're a descendant. You come from a long line of healers, herbalists, and wise folk. Their ancient knowing resonates today deep in your spirit. You will know yourself by knowing them. Hope. You offer the most valuable gift there is, and that is hope. Through your optimism and support, you inspire hope in others. You have intelligence. You, you're able to stimulate a person's mind. You are an empath. You have the empathetic ability, being able to feel another person's emotions as well as their thoughts and energy. Having no control or awareness over this exchange. You can't control that. Daydreamer, you can you can use your imagination and creativity to create a wide array of routes, routes to success and to build dreams. To live an abundant life. You have the gift of manipulation. Use your gift wisely. You are a warrior. You have a warrior spirit. You're not afraid to face conflict. While at the same time remaining committed to your path. Of goodwill and fairness. You're hypnotic. The intensity in your face is like staring into a tiger's eyes. Primal energies with the whisper of chaos. Passion. Producing a sense of excitement in others. Double confirmation on your clairvoyance gift that you possess. You possess clear vision, perceiving with the mind's eye, inner vision, or extended visual capacity that can include images from the past, present, and the future. You're connected to Venus, deeply connected to love. Affectionate, you're fortunate. You have a pioneering spirit that can manifest abundance easily. All that you touch turns to gold. Luck seems to be on your side. You are a sexual healer. You have healing sex too as well. There could be a... Um, there's a witch. There's a witch that was doing fire magic on you. Fire witch. 
Let me see if that's you. Because it could be you. Is this this person? This fire wit? So there was, um, you, you have a, a witch that got fire in her chart somewhere that was doing some sort of fire magic or something like that. Possibly on things dealing with, um, in the sexual department. This is a witch from a, a past life. This is somebody who you could have been around in them Egyptian times. This is somebody who connected to Egypt. This is somebody who probably like lifetime after lifetime, this witch come and, and, and mess with you. <laughs> this this witch come and mess with you lifetime after lifetime. They could have Aries Leo Sagittarius somewhere in their chart. You have been a prey throughout lifetimes. They always come for you and do that alchemy on you. <laughs> but you are, you are, <laughs> you are uninhibited. You are unbridled erotic energy in its purest tantalizing form, having the ability to help others release sexual fears and be more authentic in their sexual expression. Double confirmation on your gift of telepathy. You have the gift of telepathy. Your gift of telepathy is strong with the ability to read minds and project thoughts into the minds of others and understand your own body, your mind, your own mind and body as well as others. So you also had to separate and isolate because you it's a witch that throughout lifetimes, every time y'all reincarnate, this whole come after you. So you had to you had to isolate and see what the hell was going on. Anything else we need to know? This person does alchemy on your energy because you have pure energy. So this person was doing alchemy and things on your energy and it was projecting onto you. This is somebody that's like a chameleon. They change faces, but you can feel them. This, oh, okay. So you must have felt this person in their devilish way. So you detached. You detached from this person because you felt what they was on detached you have the gift of clear sentience too and the gift of detachment and you can sense this person's devilish ways and what they do yeah you know knowing bottom of the deck you knew You have the ability to connect on a deeper level with people and to talk in ways they feel heard. Being able to penetrate their veil often leaves people feeling vulnerable. So you you also have a touch of darkness too. You know about it. That's why you can, you do have the ability to connect to people on a different level because you are that dark and that light. And then you you have the gift of detachment so you can detach from your devilish ways. You can detach from devilish people. When you feel it, when you sense it, you sense things beyond the realm. So even if somebody's naked, I wouldn't be able to see that this person on some other shit. <laughs> you see it. <laughs> you be like, oh, I'm going to go. You be like, I'm going to head out. <laughs> you be like, I'm going to go on and head out. <laughs> yeah, you follow your heart. You be like, I'm going to go on and head out. Yeah, you was blessed with this. That's a part of your power. You follow your heart and you are blessed. That's a part of your personal power. Yeah, you release what no longer serves you. That's also part of your power. See, that's confirmation. You be like, I'm going to head out. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. Because you sense that shit and you be like, oh, y'all ever see how, y'all ever see that little clip of that cartoon when Homer fade away into the bushes? <laughs> that be you, you peep, and you be gone. <laughs> I am happy. That's part of your power that you are happy and you are more than enough. You are good enough. You are authentic. And you are safe. And you are celebrated. And you are worthy. 
And then bottom of the deck, you have a higher purpose. That's the part of your power. You had a higher purpose. And that's also why you were protected from person, place, and things. It was in your way. So let's see. Is there anything else we need to know about this? Is there anything else we need to know about this? No. Nope. We're going to pull a grateful heart message because it's always something to be grateful for. To be protected. To have a higher purpose. To have a safer purpose. To... Be able to communicate with that life force. That's the most thing to be grateful for. To be able to communicate with the divine. That's everything right there. So it's always something to be grateful for. Okay. Gratitude to Yahweh makes even a temporal blessing a taste of heaven. O oh, my strength to you, I sing praises for you, O oh, Yahweh, are my refuge, and a Yahweh who shows me unfailing love. I trust in the steadfast love of Yahweh forever and ever. Be strong and take heart, all who hope in Yahweh. As we express our gratitude, we must never forget that the highest form of pre appreciation is not to utter the words, but to live by them. And you, you was doing that work, you was living by it. Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Your workmanship is marvelous. How well I know it. Yahweh is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in love. The steadfast love of Yahweh is from everlasting to everlasting to those who fear him. Four grateful heart messages came out for the sun. And then we have here. But it's for me. I will always have hope and I will praise you more and more. Give thanks in all circumstances for this is Yahweh's will for you in Yahshua the Messiah. All praise to Yahweh who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realms. Oh, my Yahweh, I will give you thanks forever. That earth, wind, and fire devotion plan right, right in my mind's eye. Earth, wind, and fire devotion. you all got a message from this read that'll help you along your journey know that Yahweh loves you please like share and subscribe and I will see you all later peace